Today, we are going to show you ache, or parboiled fish and vegetables, which will provide you the unspoiled flavors and textures of various ingredients. Since the ingredients are cooked very slightly and no seasonings are added, you can enjoy their characteristic flavors and textures. It usually precedes the main meal and goes very well with drinks. 안녕하세요. Hello everyone. Welcome to More Than Kimchi. I'm your host, Jung Hwa Young. Today we are going to show you an authentic palace dish called Oche, parboiled fish and vegetables, a unique way to enjoy the natural textures and flavors of fresh fish and vegetables. Before I go any further, let's say hello to Mrs. Han Bok Sun, who will teach us today's dish. 네, 안녕하십니까? 오늘 잘 부탁드리겠습니다. 고맙습니다. Also, I'd like to welcome Jenny Wallace, who's our guest today. Thank you. It's good Hi, to be Jenny. back. Hi, Jenny. Nice to be back. Too. Thank you. you. should be good. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. So, let's, why don't we take a look at the ingredients first. Today, we're going to use a, a red snapper as a fish, and you can also use any kind of white fish, like cracker or flounder. Any nice white fish should be fine. So, here we have red snapper and shrimp, and for vegetable, I have a cucumbers, and sukkat, which is crown daisy, mm -hmm. and uh, red pepper, those are fresh red peppers, and two kinds of mushrooms, pyogobosot and sogibosot, which is uh, shiitake mushrooms and stone mush mushrooms. And also, we're going to use eggs for egg white, egg yolk crepes. And for seasoning, we have fermented the red pepper uh, paste. This is a very important sauce for Koreans. And then we have vinegar, sugar, soy sauce, chopped garlic, and chopped ginger. So these will be very nice addition since it's a fish dish. Yep. And later as a garnish, we'll use uh, powdered uh, pine nuts. Just so we'll use it as a garnish yep. after everything is all finished. Right. Yeah. So first we'll show you how to prepare this nice looking red snapper. 네. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you tell if a fish is yeah. fresh? Usually, you know, when you buy fresh, the way we do is you, mm -hmm. you take a look at the gill. And if they are nice uh, reddish color, usually you can tell yeah. that they are fresh. And also, I think the smell, you can also tell mm. whether it's a fresh fish smell or So, you know, the reason we are using, I told you, we, we can use other, you know, white fish. Uh, yes. The reason is they have less yeah. smell and yeah. the taste is yeah. always you know, mm -hmm. better. And, and uh, yeah. Mrs. Han will show us how to make the nice fillet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Right. So before you make fillet, of course, yeah. you want to get rid of the scale you know, from the tail mm -hmm. to the head. And the uh, red snapper usually has a very sharp uh, mm -hmm. uh, things, you know, these things, fins. Oh, yes. So you know, make sure you take them you know, carefully, and then you make a nice fillet. Mm -hmm. And when you make fillet, it's not a large size fillet. And for Korean food, we always make the bite size. Mm. So you will make those fillets about, you know, about two inches wide, mm. bite yeah. size fillets Mrs. Uh, yeah. Han is making. Mm. She's seeing yeah. it mm -hmm. quite, quite thin. Is that yeah. important yes. to size yeah. it thin? Right, so if you use your knife the side way, you can mm -hmm. sort of make a nice slender shape and a bite size. Got to buy yeah. ready sliced yeah. and filleted yeah. fish. You could, Would but in Korea, usually people prefer buying a whole fish. That way you can really tell whether they are fresh or not. Mm -hmm. And for this dish, we are just parboiling. It's very important to get real fresh fish. Yeah. Right. So I know, you know, you know, you know, if you are not buying fish, you know, not in Korea, yeah. they might, you know, make the filet. Mm -hmm. But uh, in Korea, we always prefer buying the fish. And you check the gill, yeah. your own so fish, you know make sure they are, they yeah. are very fresh. Yeah. So yeah. the filet is all made. And then we'll sprinkle a little bit of salt. Yeah. And if you prefer, you can also sprinkle a little bit of yeah. rice wine yeah. or white wine if you prefer. That will just uh, add a little bit of yeah. flavor yeah. there. But then we're going to chow in there. For a fresh shrimp, you just you know peel the skin and take mm -hmm. off the, the head. Yeah. Yeah. And then you wash in salt water. Mm -hmm. So these are already prepared. Yeah. Yeah. So we have two kinds of seafood there. Red snapper and the shrimp. Next, we're going to prepare the vegetables. Cucumber. 
So for cucumber, Mrs. Han wants to just take off those mm. pointy, mm -hmm. so the you don't, rough skin. You don't have to peel it. We don't yeah. peel the skin. We like the nice green color. Oh it gives also nice crunchiness. Oh, but just those, good. the yeah. top, those, uh, what would you call this? No juice. <laughs> no juice. <laughs> yeah, so we just <laughs> cut down those things off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to do this? Mm -hmm. Scrape it like this? Yeah, a little mm. bit. Or you can use the knife in the side way and cut mm. it a little bit. Mm. It's either way. Mm. Or you can probably mm. use vegetable peeler will make it very oh, easy. Nice and, easy. <laughs> and after you do that, you're going to slice. Mm. Slice the vegetable. Yeah. 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 And when you buy cucumber, mm. make sure they don't have too, ma too much of the seed. It yeah. becomes too mushy. Yeah. So usually Korean cucumbers, you will yeah. see, you know, they don't have that much seedy part. Mm. And then you just slice them to a bite yeah. size. So, it, you know, we made the fillets to a nice bite size. It, it will be this kind of similar shape. Just to slice your cucumbers. Everything should be more or less the same size. Yes, so that's right. Beautiful. Those are very important, you know, for not only for the looks, also when you cook, it will take about the same amount of time. Right. So, so cucumbers mm. ready, and then two kinds of mushrooms. Pyogobosa. Mm. These are when you buy probably their uh, dried forms. So mm -hmm. you will soak in hot water for 20 minutes or so. Once your uh, mushroom is soft, you yes. take off the stem. Mm. 크기는 네. 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 크기로 지금 잘라야 되는 거니까. And then to make again by size, 응. about two or three pieces yes. of if I. Yeah. Could so. you buy them fresh? Use the mm. fresh ones. You may use dry. fresh one. Then you don't have to soak in water. Just rinse in, yeah. you know, with cook, clean water, and then cut to a nice by size. No difference mm. in yeah. flavor mm -hmm. then. Right. And these are sogi mm. basot, which means a stone mushroom, because mm. they grow on the surface of rock. I've yeah. never seen those before. Yeah, <laughs> these we really try to use a lot because not, you know, not only the nutty flavor, but also the color. Yeah. It adds a very nice black color. Mm. And these you always buy dried forms. Right. You soak it in water, yeah. clean up all the sands at the back. Yeah. 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 So mm. make sure you soak it in hot water, mm. yeah. then they become very mm. soft. Mm -hmm. And then you rinse with cold water, mm -hmm. take off all the sands and at the back. So we have <laughs> cucumber and then sogi basot, pyogo basot, two kinds of mushrooms are all ready. Next. Yeah. So this uh, red pepper called kochu is a little spicy, but we like to add this because of the nice red color. So red, red pepper, you will cut it in half and then get rid of the seeds. Yeah. Half this way. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we'll get rid of the seed inside. And when you see red pepper, the real hot part is the seedy part. So if, as long as you get rid of the seedy part, they are not that spicy. Mm. Yeah. Again, with the red pepper too, you will cut to a kind of even size, uh, to a bite size. So we'll cut those. Is it important to remove all the seeds? Yes, it's, it's good really? to just scrape them off because mm -hmm. seeds are the part that's really spicy that you don't want to you know, eat those parts. Mm. So cut them into a nice size, about similar to the cucumbers. And these, I want, we won't cook it, but these are the egg yolks, egg white crepes. Mm -hmm. That you make a nice uh, crepes, like pan pancake. Like an omelette. Yes, right? like an omelette. Yeah. 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 So usually, I just would like to show you this pan. In Korea, since we make yeah. egg crepes quite often, you can buy a special pan for that, which is a Great. nice square. <laughs> and then you make the egg yolk and egg white. And you do not have to really, you know, uh, divide egg yolk, egg white. This just is merely, you know, the color effect. Mm -hmm. But if at home, if you want to make it faster, of course, you can just use regular, you know, egg without uh, mm. uh, dividing. Yeah. Could you use is powdered it? egg? Would that save time? Is, is there mm. such a thing? I don't think mm. I ever mm. heard powder egg in Korea. Yeah. I don't think <laughs> we can get it there. Oh, right. I, I'm not sure. But yeah. we don't have that kind. Right. We just mm. have eggs and, mm -hmm. of course, you can divide, make egg yolk and egg white, or you can just uh, use just egg, yeah. egg crepes. Oh, that would be nice, too. I'm surprised to hear egg powder. How yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah, Never heard that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Mm -hmm. So all the ingredients are basically ready. Mm -hmm. And for sukkah, crown deji, we won't cut it. We'll just use it later. Mm -hmm. We'll show you. Christian saying yeah, it? Yeah, because the Korean food is like this. It's not like eating it. It's like eating it. It's like eating it. It's like eating it. And this is a parboiled mm -hmm. dish. So we're going to start parboiling all the ingredients that we already prepared. Mm -hmm. And before we parboil, what we're going to do is dress in you know, very lightly you know, uh, cornstarch powder. Right. Here you have cornstarch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and it has to be cornstarch yeah. as opposed starch, to starch. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. Sort of any starch. kind of starch is fine, but cornstarch so is not flour. Kind of, not flour, right. yes. And mm -hmm. make sure when you do this, do not put too much uh, starch powder. That will kind of uh, overwhelming the flavor right. of the you know the yeah. ingredients. So just lightly dredge mm -hmm. 
with the powder. Mm, that's that's okay. Yes, mm. you can use mm. the mushrooms. And then parboil very briefly. Mm. And in general, Koreans prefer cooked uh, ingredients compared to uh, raw ones. And mm. this is uh, one way we would like to do it, just parboil very briefly after you put the cornstarch powder. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So because of this cornstarch, it would be a very smooth texture. And so here's a pickle. Yeah. So as soon as the cornstarch powder is cooked, which makes it kind of clear color, then it's all done. So you don't really have to wait until the ingredients are all cooked. And then make sure you put it in a cold uh, water. Two things. One, it will stop cooking. Second, it gives a very nice color, mm. nice green color. So make sure right after power boiling, you dip it in cold water. So here, cucumbers are all ready. So you see nice bright, you know, bright right, green color. Yeah, it's yeah, right. actually brighter than uh -huh. you cooked it. Right. Yeah. And the here, you don't want to put too much uh, cornstarch powder. We mm. just put a little bit. And yeah. with the cornstarch, uh, putting it on, that makes the kind of smooth texture. Right. That's what we would like to do mm. it. So and clear it almost color. like a, a gloss. Yes, yeah. definitely. That's why we wouldn't use flour. We will right. use uh, cornstarch powder. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 So we are, we are have a, here we have cucumbers, and there are pyogoborsot, sogiborsot, uh, and then red pepper, gochu. Mm. All same way, you just dress in very lightly mm. with the cornstarch powder. You parboil, dip it in cold water. Mm. So quite simple today. Yeah, and quick. Yes, very <laughs> quick. And for this dish, the important thing is we are not really using mm. too much seasoning. Later, yes. we'll make a dipping yeah. sauce, right. chogochujang. That's mm. all that we are adding. Mm. So here we have pyogoborsot. Mm. And then next, it's a sogi basa, which mm. will give you the uh, black color. Yes. Brown and black color, which is uh, stone mushrooms. As you notice, you know, main ingredients is a fish, but we'll cook the fish later because fish gives kind of smell. Yes. So we don't want the fish kind of flavor or smell to vegetable. So that's yeah. why we we'll cook vegetable first. After we cook the vegetable, we'll add the fish there. Yeah. So yeah. after yeah. vegetables are all cooked, yeah. we will yeah. use yeah. it. Yeah. You want to put some yeah. cornstarch yeah. powder yeah. on yeah. the shrimp? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Jenny will uh, do yeah. the with the shrimp, and we have fish over here, red snapper. So all the vegetables are ready here. And then in, next is the seafood. The red snapper on this side, and then Jenny is working on her shrimps. And again, don't put heavy uh, cornstarch powder. You just mm. be light on that side, mm. and then we'll just uh, uh, blanch them. First, red snapper will uh, parboil. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And again, fish too. You don't have mm. to fully cook. I mean, mm. we really enjoy raw fish too. So mm. we have a, a dish called hue, which is uh, you know raw fish we're going to use. For for this, we will just parboil. What it is, you just want to cook just the surface with, yeah. the, with the cornstarch powder. So we have a one red pepper left over here. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So fish is getting ready. So you dip it in a boiling water, uh, just about a minute or so. so it's, really, it's very, very slightly boiling. It's yes, not yeah. as if vigorous. So you no, you can use brining. The only reason was we, since we are using so many different ingredients, mm -hmm. I think the temperature went, temperature went right. down a little I bit. Yeah. But as you can see, everything we are just uh, cooking very, very briefly. Yeah. And that's the key key point of this uh, this dish, I think. So it's quite simple. Call blanching. Mm. Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. Blanching or parboiling, you know, those things. So here's uh, fish mm. meat. Again, fish doesn't have much seasoning. We have just a little bit of salt, and you may use a little bit of rice wine mm. for additional flavor. That's it. Yeah. So it has parboiled fish here, red snapper. Uh, yeah. 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 And this yeah. dish is not a hot dish, it's cold dish. After we parboil everything, I think it's good to keep it in a refrigerator for a while. Oh, yes. So it's it's almost like cold salad dish. So it's served cold as opposed yes. to at room temperature. It, no, yeah. right, right. We want to enjoy this in a cold uh, temperature. Yeah. Yeah. So the final yeah. one is the yeah. shrimp. So we'll parboil again. Mm -hmm. This kind of look blend right now because all we are doing it is just put cornstarch mm -hmm. and then we just parboiling it. Yeah. The fish is turning. The shrimp you cook until it does go pink. Yeah, but yeah. see right now I think the water is not quite boiling. We mm -hmm. did many different ingredients, but while it's it's boiling, we'll make the chogochujang, mm -hmm. which is the seasoning sauce. Yeah. So we have a gochujang here mm -hmm. and then a little bit of uh, vinegar. Mm -hmm. So you put the red pepper paste, which is fermented sauce, and then a little bit of vinegar. 
there. Mm. And then we'll add a little bit of water. I'll just add a little bit yeah, of right water mm. there. So you mix it. So a little bit of water if the paste is too thick. So you have water, vinegar, and then chogochu and then mm. gochujang. That's how it makes a chogochujang, vinegar, red pepper yeah. paste. And then a little bit of garlic and the ginger. Yeah. Usually we don't put ginger, but with this fish sauce, ginger will make a nice addition. Yeah. 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 A little bit of ginger, less okay. amount than the garlic. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. could you, if you want to, put yeah. more vinegar, more, yeah. more ginger? It, sorry. Oh, definitely. It really yeah. depends on how you like it. You should, yeah. you know, taste it and mm -hmm. adjust. And this is kind of a sweet flavor too. So we would like to add, uh, mm -hmm. you know, generous amount of uh, sugar. Yeah. 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 Right. So you may also add a little bit of soy sauce. That again also depends on how you would like. Yeah. So we'll add a little bit of soy sauce. Jenny, yeah. you want to taste yeah. it? Mm. It might, it's a very, you know, new yeah. flavor, but it's red, but they are not really that hot. It mm. does have a nice sweet flavor. So it mm. tastes. Mm -hmm. It's not that hot. No, yeah. it's not. Yeah. Surprising. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Nice, yeah. nice, yeah. Nice, yeah. Vinegary. Nice vinegary. Yeah. So, you know, since it's a dipping sauce, you, you do, you do want to make it kind of runny. Right. You know, so not too thick. Put more vinegar, in more it to vinegar make it or if it's too vinegary, mm. you can add more water, more water. too. Mm. So sauce is ready. Yeah, yeah. Everything is ready. We'll just uh, mm. put it at a serving dish. Yeah. First, a nice yeah. green color cucumber, mm -hmm. and then two kinds of mushrooms: pyogo mm. mm. shiitake mushrooms, and the black one, which is uh, sogi basat, stone mm. mushrooms. 이거는 네. 한국 음식은 되게 mm -hmm. 많이 섞어서 yeah, 놓는 right. 편인데 mm -hmm. 이거는 right. 따로 따로 재료의 yeah. 맛을 right. 느끼려고 yeah. 하는 거예요. And when we serve, we we'll put all the ingredients separate, so you may choose what you like to have. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a red pepper. Mm -hmm. They are all parboiled. 예, yeah, 거기에다가 이제 yeah. 생선. Mm -hmm. 이거는 그 등푸른 생선이라 yeah. 그러죠. 그런 yeah. 거는 절대로 right. 비려서 right. 못 right. 놓죠. Right. And make sure you use a white meat, white meat fish. Yeah. You can shrimp yeah. there, yeah. so everything is all arranged, if I can just mm -hmm. pass it over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, you know, I mm -hmm. introduce you uh, pine nuts, uh, powdered pine, pine nuts. Yeah. We'll add that, which is a kind of nice addition of powdered pine nuts, yeah. there. So this is uh, oche that we made. How did you like today's uh, recipe? That looks wonderful. I'm looking yeah. forward to eating Isn't that Isn't that one? a nice color? Yeah, yeah, it's not really that difficult. All you need to do is parboiling and then make the sauce. So now let's review the procedure to refresh your memory. Since whey or raw dishes are simple to prepare but taste great, they are very much enjoyed in Korea. They are also thought to be the best way to enjoy the natural flavors and taste of the food and make the most of the nutritive components of the food itself. Among them, yukwe or raw meat and sangsunhwe or raw fish slices are the most popular and prized ones. Yukwe, 
or raw meat, is a dish which Korean men especially enjoy on special occasions. When making yukwe, you must use only very fresh tender beef of good quality because it is being eaten raw. The thin strips of beef are seasoned with salt, chopped garlic, black pepper, sesame oil, and sugar, and then pine nut powder is placed on top to give it an additional flavor and a classy touch. Korea is surrounded on three sides by the sea, so fish are caught in abundance, and fresh fish for making raw fish slices are readily available all year round. When preparing raw fish dishes, ocean bottom fish, such as flatfish and red snapper, are preferable. To serve raw fish dishes, you need to remove the skin and bones of the fish first. Then make nice fillets. After cutting into bite-sized pieces, arrange them on a bed of thinly stripped radish. Dipping sauces for raw dishes include bean paste sauce, soy sauce, vinegar soy sauce, and vinegar red pepper sauce. They are considered to be the perfect medium to enjoy the freshness and unique taste of raw fish. After making fish fillets, Koreans make the bones and trimmings into tasty hot stew, or meuntang, and it shows well Koreans' philosophy of not wasting any part of the animal. When making meuntang, sukgat, or crown daisy leaves, and kongnamul, or bean sprouts, are added, then seasoned with a mixture of red pepper sauce and other condiments. A wide range of seafood such as various clams, different kinds of mollusks, oysters and sea cucumbers are harvested along the shores of the Korean peninsula, and they are also very popular raw dishes. The characteristic flavors and tastes of food can be fully achieved when they are eaten raw or parboiled without any seasoning added to it. For that reason, raw dishes have long been loved in Korea. Now here's the best part of our program. We'll see how our oche tastes. Mm, they look very appetizing. Yeah, yeah, oh, good job. You know, this we usually, um, you want to go ahead? This is a uh, rice wine. And this dish, oche, usually we enjoy with an uh, alcoholic drink. Well, instead of serving as a meal, yeah, we will serve when you have guests who stop by for drinks. It's a perfect dish for that. So here we have rice wine over here. Thank you for teaching this delicious dish. Mm -hmm. Rice wine. Yeah. All these ingredients are just parboiled. That's yeah. the you know important thing with this dish. That's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And there are five different mm -hmm. colors that's from the Oriental philosophy. Mm -hmm. We call ohang. It's important. Mm -hmm. And with this dish, we'll use those chogochujang, which is the you know uh, dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. If you're uh, you know, concerned about the hot pepper sauce, you may put more water, yeah. or you can use just slightly little bit. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's good. I'm glad you like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Right. And you know, this one also is uh, when you lose appetite, you know, especially springtime, yes. this is an excellent dish, mm. especially with the vinegary flavor. Mm. So we enjoy that quite a lot during springtime. Very visual. Very visual. Mm -hmm. Very, Very bright visual. And, cheerful. and also, as I mentioned, it's a good dish to prepare when you have. You know, people over for mm -hmm. drinks. 
That's what Koreans do, mm. at least. This uh, pine nut is very interesting. Is it mm -hmm. just decoration, or is it? Yes, of course it's decoration, but also it gives a very nice nutty flavor. Yeah, and pine nuts totally are different flavor. Yes, yeah. and it's it's something that Koreans really like. So yeah. it's, it's a, not only a garnish, but also the flavor that yeah. gives to the food. Yeah, it's not something yes. I would normally put with fish. Yes, nuts. but try it's, it next time. You wouldn't normally think of it. No, all right. <laughs> Fish can be enjoyed in many ways, but it's especially satisfying when cooked briefly with little seasoning. If you are planning to have friends over for drinks this weekend, how about preparing oche and sharing the pleasure of Korean cuisine? I'd like to thank Mrs. Han and Jenny for being with us today, and I thank all of the viewers for watching More Than Kimchi. 안녕히 계세요.